we are uh, going to discuss in this session we are going to learn we are going to discuss about uh, angular so angular angular 9 so it is not angular 10 right because uh, many people ask that uh, angular sir angular 10 is latest version but actually angular 10 is still in its alpha release so it is still in alpha release then uh, it is not a stable release obviously companies are not going to implement immediately angular 10 first it has to come to stable release after the stable release so alpha release means several drastic changes may happen so we will learn angular 9 and at the end of angular 9 by the end of angular 9 we expect the stable release of angular 10 because within one month so angular 10 stable because actually they dated that angular 10 will be uh, targeted to november actually so by november so the angular 10 stable release will come so by the time what are the new features adding into angular i will give you an overview and you can even handle them when angular 10 is released because there will be only few changes in angular 10 right there will be only few changes in angular 10 yeah you have any doubts uh, i will take your doubts towards the end everyone okay right. so that uh, i can answer your doubts after the session huh? right right so here we are dealing with angular 9 angular 9 so here all our examples will be angular 9 angular 9 so what are the what is angular what is difference between angular js angular all this we will discuss right first i am giving an overview and what are the prerequisites for this is uh, in order to learn angular 9 you must have knowledge of html and uh, css and uh, javascript these are the basic requirements for angular 9 to learn angular you need knowledge of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. You have, I hope everyone is aware of these three things, HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Everyone aware of these three things now, right? right. So you are uh, having knowledge of HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Even you don't have a complete knowledge of uh, CSS, it's okay. But we recommend actually because uh, you cannot become a real world developer working on Angular projects without HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Currently, for learning, Partially, if you have knowledge of JavaScript and CSS, that is okay. But we recommend to have complete knowledge of them in order to even uh, work for Angular uh, projects, right? If you have to work for Angular, you must have knowledge for this uh, basics of these three, mandatory. You, you must have knowledge for these three so i hope everyone is having 
good knowledge on HTML, CSS. Are you all of you aware of complete JavaScript also? Complete JavaScript, everyone? Knowledge of complete JavaScript? Yeah, that's great, okay. Okay, fine. At least some people say no. Uh, at least you have knowledge basic of JavaScript. Basics of JavaScript. Huh. That's enough. That's enough. Right? That's enough. Yeah. That's enough. Yeah. That's enough. That's enough. If you have little basics of JavaScript, that is enough. Because actually in Angular, so we are going to learn, we will learn, we will learn, we will learn TypeScript, TypeScript. We will learn and use TypeScript, use TypeScript for Angular. We will learn and use TypeScript for Angular. And uh, TypeScript, I will teach you from very basic level everything. In that case, it will not be a problem for you. But uh, we will learn from the basics. From the basics of everything, I will teach you TypeScript. Right? Then uh, it will not be a problem. So because Angular people directly cannot jump into Angular without having the language required for Angular. So Angular uses a language TypeScript and we will learn TypeScript. But one of the point here is browsers, browsers native is browsers native is JavaScript. JavaScript. So even you type, uh, even you use TypeScript, actually TypeScript, TypeScript language is uh, transcompiled, transcompiled into, into JavaScript, transcompiled into JavaScript. That means finally it is going to be in JavaScript only. But as a developer, you will not manually write JavaScript you will write everything through TypeScript. It will compile into JavaScript. In that case, you can think that uh, now JavaScript is very much required because finally it is going to be JavaScript only. So I hope everyone understood, right? So even you learn TypeScript, even you learn TypeScript, without JavaScript, you cannot be a developer for web. You cannot develop applications for web or mobile like environments, right? It is mandatory that for a web developer, they must have knowledge of JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. These are very basic things. So even you use a new language here, finally it is going to be in JavaScript only, transcompiled into JavaScript. Only the point is you will not directly deal with JavaScript. So that is the reason here you will learn a complete TypeScript. We will discuss all TypeScripts from basics. So even you don't have any knowledge of JavaScript also. So you can continue to learn Angular. But I recommend you to attend any JavaScript sessions happening. So because you cannot justify your Angular without JavaScript in any interview, right? It's mandatory. So that is the reason you should have that knowledge, okay? For learning a little bit JavaScript language, it's fine, it's okay, you can continue, right? But finally, if you are attempting for interviews, then you make sure that you have good knowledge of that because majority of questions will be related to these only, right? Yeah. Fine. So these are enough, these are enough. And because uh, in our 
in our entire learning so in our entire learning development so we will learn we will learn and we will use typescript only typescript only so we are going to learn angular 9 and we are going to discuss about uh, we are going to discuss about typescript so first we are going to learn a language typescript then we will go into angular so these are the two things we are going to discuss so that this is in this session typescript and angular will happen right so first typescript then angular then angular yes okay once you are clear i hope everyone is clear right so i will later update you to angular 10 and i will tell you what is coming in angular 10 because it is not yet a stable release so once it is uh, finished with angular 9 i will show you highlights of what is 10 and what is new in 10 so that you even you can use 10 and you can work with 10 also right but we will not install and use 10 because still it is only for developer release right yeah yeah now so these are the basic things and uh, in this session in angular so while working with angular angular 9 i will give you an integration complete integration example of uh, a mean stack complete example of a mean stack mean stack that means uh, an end-to-end -end application end-to-end -end example that means after we finish the basics of angular and after we finish the concepts of angular i will give you a stack example i will give you stack i am not saying that i will teach you stack I will give you a stack example stack example means how to integrate with the database how we can uh, consume the apis with the server side server side and how to use a middleware middleware so end to end complete uh, infrastructure i will give you integration with server side technologies consuming the apis from server side technologies communication with the database these all things we will discuss towards the end of the sessions right once we finish with angular 9 how angular is used for real world where it is used for real world that we will see as an implementation one example i will give you as an implementation so that means integrating with server side technologies and uh, accessing the data from database so this we will think right yeah yes ramesh after uh, the session is completed towards the end i will take all your questions one by one huh? i will uh, clarify everything doubt that you are having huh? right right so this is what actually we are going to discuss here and uh, while learning with angular while learning with angular so we will use a combination of html css bootstrap and uh, all the general front end requirements we use for uh, real world application development hmm? so we are going to deal with uh, three things finally finally we are going to deal with three things here so that means i'm first starting with typescript then we will go into angular 9 then uh, we will uh, discuss about uh, so the mean stack integration mean stack integration right mean stack integration so mean stack means i hope many of you know m stands for mongo mongo is a database database e stands for express express is a middleware software middleware and a stands for 
your angler your angler and n stands for so that is uh, node.js node.js this is server side server side and angular you know that it is client side angular is client side so finally you will learn an example how to handle complete end-to-end -end integration so these are the three basic things you are going to learn here in this session we are going to discuss about this so once this session is completed and uh, our admin will send you the course catalog content so from the course catalog you can see what are all the topics covered inside this angular 9 you can go through that and you can come back to tomorrow with any questions you have uh, related to that catalog okay you can go through you can read that catalog and you can come back with the questions related to that catalog anything right so yes yes angular material animations we will use regularly right so when you are learning with angular in angular whatever basic necessities are there we are going to discuss about all of them eh? including basic advanced whatever are used for real world we are going to discuss about them okay yeah so these are the basic things right so i hope everyone is clear with this everyone is clear with this uh, everyone is clear up to now right so now let's uh, go into the concept directly step by step All right see many people ask like integration with uh, java integration with dotnet php actually so you don't need to do much for integration with your technologies if you have knowledge of angular angular is used for consuming services and apis in real world you are a java developer you are a dotnet developer php developer or a python developer then uh, obviously in that technology you will learn about web services and uh, you will learn about uh, api services am i right huh? yes so in those technologies you will learn about web services and api services am i right huh? right are there any people who are from java dotnet and php like technologies here right yes good so if you are here yes yes good if you are here from those technologies obviously you might have learned you might have learned web services and uh, api services am i right you learned web services and api services good great okay so how you consumed them how you consumed them and presented the data coming from api the data coming from api how you presented them the data coming from api how you presented them client side how you presented them obviously you might have uh, yeah data comes in json or xml how the data you have presented on the screen how you presented on the screen for that you might have used uh, ajax calls with javascript or jquery am i right huh? am i right you might have written ajax calls with javascript and jquery am i right right so yeah good right so the point is uh, the point is like see so you have the database that means you have the database you have the database so this is the database and uh, 
so you have a database server on database it will be like some mongo db or uh, oracle or mysql like this mysql like this and uh, you have an application server usually you have an application server application server so it is node js node js php php jsp jsp python so many dot net right python all these so your application will be here application will be here and your data will be here your data will be here i'm just giving an overview architecture and detail we will discuss uh, step by step and uh, <clears throat> usually we have uh, another um, another middleware we have a middleware 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 we have middlewares like express express is a middleware actually express is a middleware so jsx so many middlewares are there yeah oracle middlewares are there Sub microsoft middlewares are there no? so middleware is a software which is used for handling communication actually and you usually have a web server also you have a web server web server and this is the client this is the client so user this is the client and obviously in your server side technologies you learned about so services services or apis you will learn about them eh? through that you communicate with the database right get the data from the database and uh, through the middleware you send the data so through the web server it will come in xml or json form and this data need to be presented here client side <clears throat> and for that you can use javascript you can use jquery now you are using angular angular that is only the point so up to this up to this everything is common up to this everything is common up to this everything is common that means uh, up to this part everything is common only the point is client side <clears throat> you are using angular to consume and uh, handle interaction in the client side so in that case there is nothing much to learn about integrations right so there is nothing much to learn about integrations if i show you one process you can handle all in the same way understood right if i give you one process everyone can handle all others also <clears throat> that means i will show you with one approach and you can implement that in your any technology in the back end any technology in the back end right so that means java dot net php and everything any technology in the back end hope you are clear with that because uh, many people are asking for integration with java integration with dot net all right if i show you one approach with one technology so back end whatever you are doing it will never change only front end consuming requires a few steps very few steps that is enough so to handle integration of angular and use it and you can manage i will guide you to that okay clear huh? because some people asking for integration with uh, this huh? yeah so that is that is what actually we use angular for angular is completely client side and uh, there is just one approach to learn 
so that you can handle integration with any technology in the back end that is not a complex or complicated task for any technology developer it's a simple approach i will guide you through that approach right no problem so you can handle it i will guide you through that approach you can handle it huh? right no problem right fine now first point after understanding all these what we are going to learn now we can start understanding about what is angular why we need angular how do we work with angular huh? let's take a look about that the complete approach and history actually so i will give you a simple overview to understand why we have to learn angular what is the intention of angular right what is angular why we have to learn angular we will discuss that yeah for that you need to understand one important point is uh, actually web started web started in the early in the early 1990s web started in the early 1990s the concept of web started in early 1990s tim berners lee tim berners lee introduced introduced the concept of web we call him father of web so that means web is there from the early 1990s and uh, we are developing applications we are uh, developing developing applications applications for web we are developing applications for web using using uh, html css cl uh, javascript javascript jquery like things client side client side client side uh, we are using you we are using various uh, various server side technologies server side server side technologies technologies like uh, like jsp like php like php like python like uh, asp.net right so so many so many we are using in the background server side middlewares database and uh, various things we are using we are developing applications for web from the early 1990s now suddenly why you need angular now what is this angular that means in early days we don't have any angular right so just from past few years this angular react like technologies are coming into the market they are trending now now the question is is it anything new concept for that so why we are uh, going to the new technologies right this is the key point you need to understand as a web developer from several years developing application for web we are using all these in the background right so client side server side databases middlewares all these already there we are developing but suddenly why you need a new technology why you are learning something new like angular react like concepts why you suddenly need them actually for that you need to understand understand the modern web we need to understand the modern web so that means this is the early web this is early early web so you need to understand the modern web and its standards actually the modern web is not like early days web so now drastic changes are happening so many complications are there i will tell you a simple point in early days in early days so 
websites web and interactions online everything i have to use a laptop or a desktop open a browser hit the url access what i am looking for search for and use it but in the modern web you can say almost 90 percent of users are using web from smart devices do you agree with my point smart devices mobiles and tabs so hardly anyone is going to a laptop and opening gmail opening a facebook youtube right or any shopping online majority you are doing everything from your mobiles smartphones am i right do you agree with my point what do you say do you agree with my point right the modern web the modern web that means 90 percent of our entire web so is uh, used by the people who are using smart devices right so everything we are accessing through the smart devices majority majority then uh, the modern web modern web so modern web users users are using using uh, smart devices smart devices for accessing accessing our applications for accessing our applications so users are using smart devices for accessing our applications so then then we have we have few challenges challenges then we have few challenges as a web developer so then we have few challenges in web development in web development so in web development development we have few challenges in web development especially especially for uh, modern web development modern web development so in the modern web development we we are facing some challenges what are the challenges in the modern web development what are the issues we are facing right because majority of users are using smart devices for accessing and using our applications then we have few challenges as a web developer so our traditional web development is not enough for the modern web our traditional web development process is not enough for modern web so what are the challenges what are the challenges challenges uh, in modern web dev in modern web what are the challenges in modern web what are the challenges in modern web so that means in modern web development what are the challenges that we are facing so the first important challenge is unified unified user experience unified ux user experience the first important challenge is unified user experience this is a bigger task for developers now so unified experience what is unified experience ux is user experience what is unified experience i will show you i will tell you one point here see suppose so we have face youtube 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 or we have like facebook facebook we have youtube and facebook like applications so sites now in early days so early early uh, smartphones in early days of smartphones that means in early smartphones so in early smartphones so in order because when smartphones came in the early days of smartphones so we have to use browsers like opera mini 
have you remembered uh, we have to use browsers like opera mini i am talking about the situation where we don't have uh, an app we don't have an application we don't have an application for youtube and facebook so youtube facebook amazon all these like things uh, we need to access on our smartphones on a browser am i right huh? am i right so in the early days of uh, smartphones have you experienced that what do you say have you used the smartphones before youtube app came before facebook app came so if if you have used smartphones before those apps were there you might have experienced that you you have to open a browser in smartphone and you have to type the url in the browser it will open the page right actually so what is problem here is these pages that we designed so these are very the pages that the site that we designed here this is very large this is very large this is very large these pages are very large these sites are very large and uh, our mobile problem is uh, mobile is having a very low bandwidth it is having a very low bandwidth bandwidth width it is having a very low bandwidth so it is large applications are very large our device is having very low bandwidth suddenly smartphones came and uh, people started using smartphones from their smartphones they are accessing internet then what happened is these websites were unable to load these websites were unable to load on those browsers because those browsers are very compact browsers compact browsers means with limited features with limited bandwidth due to that what happened is due to that what happened is these sites were unable to reach the devices then uh, what happened is these st sites uh, started they started optimizing they started optimizing they started optimizing their website they started optimizing their websites so optimizing means you can simply say that compressing understood they started compressing their websites in order to fit onto this device so it is early it is very large so it is hard to open hard to open hard to open now once you optimize that means you compress and send to this device now it is okay now it is okay that means you can able to use it on this so even today several websites that you try to watch on your browsers of mobile so sometimes you will get an message saying that page is too large cannot open right sometimes so it can never open at all so still several websites are there like that which will never open on your mobile so because there are very they are very large they are very large so they can be optimized you can compress you can compress and access them you can compress and access them so what we have to do is we have to optimize and send that to the users send that to the users then obviously so you might have observed that we were using you might have observed that we were using on mobile then we will have m.youtube.com youtube.com have you seen that uh? like m.facebook.com have you seen this have you experienced that m.facebook.com m. that is for mobile right right so the point is now that's okay that's good great 
so that means now youtube is available on my mobile facebook is available on my mobile i can watch it but one complaint from the client side that means one complaint from the user what is the complaint from the user is user complains that some options are not available which are available on a laptop browser or desktop browser that means user complaint is that i am using your website on my desktop and laptop this option is available for that but when i am trying to use on mobile why this option is not available some options are missing am i right what do you say some options may be missing na when you are using on mobile some options are missing because they cannot provide everything it is a compact version am i right a compact version for example you have ms office ms word in your laptop you have ms word in your mobile does your ms word in mobile having the same all features that you have on your general ms word in laptop is it having all the same features no so obviously no it is limited na it is compact na am i right am i right then what is the problem here from the client side from the client side the problem is he is unable to utilize all the features of that website specially when he is using from mobile got my point got my point that website is available to mobile smart devices but the problem is he is unable to utilize all the features of that website some features are missing some features are not working because they cannot run on mobile like devices those features can't work there so this is the biggest challenge for web developer that means now we want we want a unified user experience we want a unified user experience what is meant by unified user experience unified user experience is nothing but so this application this website should provide all the facilities all the facilities in the same way across any device that means you are using on a mobile so you are using on a mobile and when you are using on a mobile again some problems are there android ios uh, windows phones am i right so many issues are there whether you are using on a mobile it is an android mobile it is an ios it is an windows mobile you are using on a laptop or you are using on a desktop that means these applications should have the same experience user should have the same experience user should have the same feel how he used user should access everything in a similar way across any device across any device our application must be designed in such a way that it should have a unified experience across any device understood this point that is called unified user experience got my point understood what is unified experience everyone clear with this right that means our website should reach our website should reach to any device our website should have the same experience same functionality for client so who is working with it across any device there is there should not be any option like so because you are using a mobile that's the reason this facility is not available everything should be exactly available at the same way how i am watching and using the application on your desktop the same i should get on mobile also this is a bigger challenge for developers it looks easy but it is not easy so it requires lot of implementation it requires lot of frameworks to use as a developer 
achieving this task is not so simple it is very complex don't think that it is simple point and uh, you can easily develop a website in such a way that it will have same experience everywhere it needs a lot of concepts to be used so this is a bigger challenge for the developers in the current generation so in the modern web development one of the key challenges is unified experience second important is fluid experience fluid user experience our websites must have our applications must have a fluid experience not only just unified experience they must have a fluid experience fluid experience means i will tell you here suppose i am using google so in search i am typing angular this is angular i am searching for angular when i search for angular you can see millions of results came now i will scroll down when i scroll down when i scroll down you can see that the page numbers will come that means page 1 page 2 page 3 page 4 numbers will come now imagine if you are watching this same page on a mobile and you have to hit those page numbers at the bottom to go to the second page and third page or next page don't you think it is very difficult for a mobile user to hit those small links at the bottom of screen right side of screen top of the screen what do you say is it difficult for a user am i right then what you have to do is we need to zoom that area am i right huh? we need to zoom that area we need to zoom that area and we need to click on that number then it will get into the second right so this uh, what do you think this type of uh, page is good for mobile like environments huh? this type of page is it is very difficult it is very difficult right so it's it's very difficult so because uh, the small link small options even today you can observe several online websites when you are watching so you have to zoom and click on a link sometimes i hope you have experienced that right this that means now this is not good for experience for mobile like devices observe carefully google have image search when i open google image search you can see that millions of images came but one great thing about this image search it is having a fluid experience fluid experience means there is nothing like next page previous page once i scroll down you can see the the next set of images are loading at the bottom when i scroll down next set of images are loading at the bottom do i need to go to previous page or next page here do i need to go to previous page or next page here tell me do i need to go to previous page next page here no everything comes on to one page everything comes on to one page am i right not only everything comes on to user will stay on only one page user will stay on only one page he will get access to everything so that means this is this is a fluid experience this is a fluid experience and you can feel this experience now in your facebook gmail amazon all these websites am i right huh? right now you can feel this experience so in your facebook everywhere right in early days of facebook you might have seen that in early days of facebook you scroll down then it says next post previous post have you seen that point in early days of facebook you can see that it says next post previous post you have to click next post for next post previous post for previous post but now observe facebook you just scroll up 
then the new contents will be loading down continuously everything user will stay on only one page am i right this is fluid experience this is fluid experience that means we need we need a fluid experience these days uh, we don't want like page by page page by page open dialog boxes open pages these all we don't need these days so we need more advanced that means we need more uh, fluid experience for applications so unified experience is one challenge for developers fluid experience is also a challenge for developer because how you will design pages like that how you will design pages like that so that is a challenge that is a challenge okay another challenge is uh, simplified simplified uh, we can simply say that loosely coupled loosely coupled loosely coupled loosely coupled and extensible loosely coupled and extensible loosely coupled and extensible loosely coupled and extensible application i will tell you so already i showed you what is fluid means fluid means everything comes on to one page am i right right up to that point if you understood that's enough right later you will learn what is other things huh? right another option is loosely coupled loosely coupled and extensible architecture loosely coupled and extensible means a simple point here is loosely coupled and extensible means suppose we build an application here so we'll we build an application here and after that we given this application to client so client can install he installed that application on his device installed on his device so mobile or some other device installed on device after few days after few days some new features are added into that application now to we have to send these new features to that application now will you ask him to again install this application will you ask him to again install this application because after few days some changes happened in the application no you cannot ask him <coughs> to install application not even remember one point is not even you will ask him to update if he left his application if he left his application idle for few seconds automatically we will push those new details into application have you observed that huh? we don't even ask him to update because he turns on that auto update for all applications in mobile then what happens the new details new features are pushed in automatically am i right that means we don't even ask them just they need to keep they need to keep the application idle for few seconds then the new details are pushed up new features are pushed into it this is not simple this is very complicated architecture for uh, application that means you have to design application in such a way that application should able to access the new features and should work with those new features without any problems am i right do you think it is a simple task huh? do you think it is a simple task for a developer that he will send some new code code snippet into that particular application and that code snippet will work without any problems do you think it is a simple task because your new code snippet that you have sent into the application it should be integrated with the existing application and that should not create a problem to the existing application am i right am i right it should work with that application do you think it is a very simple thing so it may look a small point but it is very very complicated concept so that means we need to design application in such a way that it can handle this these are all the challenges that we are facing for modern web development modern web development these are the challenges for modern web development then the question comes here is what is what is solution 
what is solution solution is nothing but better better build better build single page applications and progressive web applications progressive progressive web applications web applications instead instead of uh, traditional 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 web applications understood that means better build single page applications and progressive web applications instead of instead of uh, instead of progressive web application progressive web application is nothing but a website have an app like experience in the browser single page application means user will stay on only one page and he will get access to everything onto that page understood user will stay on only one page and he will get access to everything on that page that is single page application progressive web application means an a website will have an app like experience in the browser it will not look like a page i will show you suppose suppose we have a website like suppose photopia.com this is this is a, this is a website and this website is online photoshop online photoshop i selected a new project here and i created a new project here and you can see i can do some drawings here now this is a website is it looking like a page huh? is it looking like a page is it looking like a page no it have an app like experience am i right huh? app like experience these type of applications are called progressive applications progressive web applications now we are far from single page applications single page applications also now old now we are in the generation of progressive applications that means we should give an app like experience that means user should feel like he is using an app even in a browser also that is what actually progressive we are more advanced than spa now we are into progressive generation right progressive applications single page applications we are more advanced than single page applications now we need to build something like this we need to able to build something like this this is what the new challenge that means better build single page application or progressive web application now the question here is so now the question is how to build how to build these type of applications can you use javascript and jquery to build them so the answer is yes you can use javascript jquery to build then what is problem what is problem with uh, javascript and jquery what is problem with javascript and jquery if you can build single page applications then what is problem with javascript and jquery if you know what is problem with javascript and jquery then you will understand what why we have to use angular angular react other technologies we will discuss about them that means now you need to understand what is problem with javascript and jquery if you understand what is problem with javascript and jquery then you will understand that okay we are now using an alternative for javascript and jquery and what is that alternative what are the features that we are going to discuss that we will see in our next session right tomorrow we will see that so tomorrow we will discuss about what are the problems in javascript and jquery why we have to go with angular js angular react like technologies so what is the purpose of angular and angular js or react like technologies what is difference between them these all points we are going to discuss in a tomorrow session then you will get more clarity on that okay hope you are clear with today's topics then tomorrow we can continue with this and tomorrow you will be able to understand what is angular and what is the purpose of angular okay for that first you need to know all these basic things all these basic things right